right, check it out, guys. We are in our accommodation here, which we really love, actually, here in Buzios. Little pool, keep on having breakfast, and maybe we'll show you our room in a few minutes. Obviously, we're leaving Buzios today. We're going back to Sao Paulo. We're gonna meet our friend Art and have a special meal with him. We're told we must try this food while we're in Sao Paulo. <laughs> so uh, first things first, shout out to me for filming a video before the first coffee of the day. Mm -hmm. Doing anything before the first coffee is a tall order. True, I'm still half awake. <laughs> half mm -hmm. awake, half asleep. Okay guys, we will uh, finish up and then we'll fly, like an hour and a half flight or something. Mm -hmm to Sao Paulo. Okay, <laughs> let's go. All right, shout out to coffee. Two cups and I am up in Adam. Adam? No, I'm Steve. All right, check it out. We'll show you our room real quickly. We do really recommend this place. Um, the staff here are like superlatively nice, which makes all the difference. Just a simple room. Ivana made the bed very nice. We're packed up and ready to go. We actually have a, uh, they were calling it a balcony, although it's more of a chilling area with a hammock. Not bad, and I'll show you the bathroom quick. Just a simple bathroom. I can't even tell you the price exactly because we paid like two different prices. When Carnival happened, the price increased. I think before Carnival, it was, if I remember correctly, uh, 40 Canadian, so like 28 or 30 American. So definitely worth it, and we absolutely love the staff here. Uh, I will say this, we're going back to Sao Paulo today because we are flying to Peru. So we're leaving Brazil, so we told Art, like, man, we're leaving Brazil. It's been 90 days already, it really flew past. And he said, you can't leave Brazil without trying the Sao Paulo hot dog. I'm not sure what's so special about a hot dog, but uh, evidently it's a must try. So next stop, we will fly, and then we will go try the Sao Paulo uh, famous hot dog. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Big shout out to this place. We really uh, love it. Here's the name. Big shout out to them. Super nice people. Okay, let's fly. Cue the music. Wow, I think this is the smallest airport we've ever been. This is the upstairs waiting area, boarding area. Front door and the lines. That's it. Awesome, right? <laughs> drive trucks bigger than this. <laughs> preparing for landing. Please return your seat back to the upright position, stow and lock your tray table. Check if your seat belt is fastened and adjust. Your hand luggage must be stowed under the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartment. For landing. Obrigado, obrigado. Hey, Ivana. Does it, uh, does it feel like you're home? Yeah. Whenever we Wonderful. go back, whenever we go to a place we've already been, feels like home. Yeah, Sao Paulo is our home in Brazil. Our home in Brazil, Sao Paulo. I'm so hungry. Oh. oh my god. I'm about to eat three hot dogs. <laughs> Maybe four. Maybe four. All right, here we are guys. We're about five minutes walk from the hot dog place. Unfortunately, it's a terrible day. Yeah. It has turned out to be, it's pouring rain. 
and everything's wet and also Art is not coming anymore. So Art has become busy. He sends his regards to the YouTube audience. So a bit of a double negative. We got no Art and we got no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine when Art's gone. Bow, bow, bow. But in any case, I am super duper profoundly hungry. And I'm so hungry I'm actually tired. And uh, interesting place to walk at the very least. Back in SP. Back in SP. Feels like we're back at home. Because whenever we fly to a place we've already been, it's a rare experience. Most of our flights are going to a place we've never been. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, let's eat some hot dogs. I'm so hungry. And actually, if you guys remember, our very first video in Brazil was from this area in Sao Paulo and we were super nervous and we were scared and so we wanted to come here for our last video because tomorrow we're actually flying to Peru Yes. so we're off to Lima tomorrow we wanted to see Art today to say farewell to him and thank you to him we wanted to see Gustavo as well yeah. unfortunately Gustavo is in Iliabella and Art is busy now we understand so the idea was we'd come back to where it all began with such a different feeling because last time we were here if you guys remember we were like scared to like use the camera and we were super nervous and we didn't fit in and now we're wandering around and uh, yeah. really loving Brazil. So what a difference three months can make. Actually, Sao Paulo. This is my favorite city in Brazil. Yeah. So Ivana said if she were to live in Brazil, she would live in Sao Paulo. Yeah. I think it's same for me. I think I changed my mind. <laughs> Coming back here, I was like, oh, there's so much action in like Floripa. Home. It feels it's like home. Home. There's just sort of people all around, tons of different uh, things to look at, things to listen to, tons of action in Sao Paulo. And so anyway, shout out to Art and Gustavo and everybody who helped us on our Brazil trip. Unfortunately, you won't see any of them in this video today, we'll come back again. but we'll come back again. And uh, without further ado, let's eat some hot dogs. I'm so hungry, man. Last time I ate was 400 kilometers ago. <laughs> or whatever. Okay, let's eat. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Some uh, international cuisine, let's say. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Ivana? No, hot dogs. Hot dogs. No, hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Ivana says we're close. Oh, on the left here, maybe. Is that what you mean, Ivana? We're lost. Here. Yeah, wait. No. Bong Josto. Different. Maybe no. it's not. Uh oh. See where the map is? It says it's right here. Maybe we. Okay, don't pass. give up. Never give up. Maybe it's over here. It's over here. Classic Gringo. Is it here? No. What's the name of the place? Perinho. Maybe we passed it. Oh. Okay, we go back. Oh my gosh. No wonder we couldn't find it. This is the sign. And this is the... Oh, you eat on the wall here. Oh, super cool place, Ivana. Pedrinho. Oh, that's why, Ivana. You were saying Pedrinho. No, no, no. Pedrinho. 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 Uh, oh, they got pernil as well. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for the hot dog. Hot dog especial. Special. Of course, I want all the toppings. Make it big. Hola. Cool place with the uh, the alleyway here, or hallway, I should say. And then all the places to eat. Yeah, and <laughs> That's that right. so it was so easy to miss. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't actually on the street. It's like down the hall from the street. Uh, uh, you want hot dog especial. This one is one hot dog, and this is two, two hot dogs. Sounds, sounds oh, let's get the hot dog especial and share then. One each, no? Yeah, I'll get this when you get this. Okay. Okay. Tap bomb. Hola. 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 Oh, it's here. Uh, you want the two? Uh, hot dog especial. Un dog, eh? Un. And for you, hot dog... Oh. Okay. Hot dog especial. Do Dois. 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 <laughs> Bebidas. 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 Algo con gas. Dois. Dois. Obrigado. Obrigado. Looks good, eh? So they've got some kind of roast beef and some kind of chicken drinks. And then uh, the hot dogs look amazing. Obrigado. 
Bong pa caramba. No, bong pa cachorro. Hot uh, cachorro is hot dog. Bong pa cachorro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> bong pa cachorro. <laughs> awesome. Obrigado. Can you grab the water, babe? Yeah. Okay, obrigado. Oh my gosh, Ivana. This tray weighs like six pounds. I think I have to take back what I said about having free. I don't think this is a have, a, have free food. So I really love the place we came. I love the layout and the design. I just wish beside you was Gustavo and Art. Yeah. Well, actually, and Dunga and Felipe and Guilherme and everybody. Yeah. But, uh, Bomba Cachorro. Okay, so they cut it in half like a sandwich, which is a good idea because it's huge and uh, looks like french fries on top, crispy <laughs> potatoes, mashed potato, corn, lettuce, wow. hot dog. Uh, now the ingredients we got, it said there was like 11 ingredients got, or maybe eight. I saw them put the mashed potatoes. Uh, lettuce, corn, mashed potatoes for sure. That's the polista style. Uh, we saw back in Rio, they put uh, eggs, quail eggs and raisins. But yeah. in Sao Paulo, it's uh, mashed potatoes. So, look at this. Looks good, right? <sighs> wow, yeah. And the bun is super duper we fresh. Mm, let's try it. The bun is like crispy and nice and fresh. Okay, ready to go. I am gonna do this though. Oh yeah, picante for sure. Uh, Let me try pimenta, it. Ivana, pimenta, Ivana. Pimenta. Picante. Oh my goodness. And there's a crispy batata. Mm. <laughs> is it good? Mm. Yo. Mm. It's actually so good. Well, it was a total disaster to eat. <laughs> oh God, the okay. floor. It's like a crime scene. Yo, it's really good though. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ivana, put this, it's so good. Sure. Oh my gosh. I will say this, the mashed potatoes in my head sounded kind of awful. But they're just perfect. You don't really taste the mashed potatoes, it's just a texture thing. Mm -hmm. And then the crunch from the potatoes, uh, you can see the corn. See? Yo. In Canada, we have hot dogs side of the road. And they're not as good as this. It is so good. <laughs> you prefer the hot dog here? Mm hmm. Yeah. In Brazil, wow. Mm. In Canada, you might put pickles, mustard, onions, kind of standard. Mm -hmm. The creaminess of the mashed potato and then with the. Uh, Really nice bun. Look at that. I don't know if you guys. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so close. And I think the bun is more like a French bread kind of Thai. It's like a baguette. You're right yeah. about that. Mm. Mm. Yo, that was good, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Make it a mess. You guys. The floor is a disaster. Did you finish yours? No, Half. I don't know. Uh, mm. I'll tell you what though, this is five star street food. This is some of the best street food I've ever had. And honestly, yeah. one of the big things is that pimenta is so good. I got to say, the mashed potatoes, it's a nice surprise. I like it. I quite like the mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes are a nice yeah. surprise. Yeah, yeah, the creaminess of it. You do, mm. you do gotta get, I think the right technique is to open it up and push the toppings down. Because when they're on the top, they just come right out. You gotta kind of mm. get the bun around it. I also love, I also love the corn and the crispy batata on top of it. Uh, like crispy potato. What do you call this? Sticks? It's like fried potatoes. It's like yeah. potato chips. Because but it in gives stick you corn. like kind of like the mashed potato is soft and uh, mushy, but it's balanced by the crunchiness of the corn and the crunchiness of the potato uh, sticks. So I gotta say, I like it. This I like five star food. It it's is like so the good. The texture is so good. I actually will have one more though. One mm -hmm. is not enough. Yeah, I'm so hungry right now. <laughs>
Mm. I will say this, the one part I'm gonna not get is corn. You mm. like the corn. Oh, okay. The corn is just feels like it's, I don't know, Thanksgiving like dinner or something. It doesn't taste right. I like the corn. And they also have like um, small pieces of tomatoes and uh, peppers, which is nice, and lettuce in it. Never had uh, hot dogs with lettuce before either. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Yo, good. this is so good. Mm -hmm. This pimenta is like a barbecue pimenta. Barbecue? Mm. Put it on top. Put the pimenta on top. Look at this. <coughs> I, think, I think Brazil has some of the best hot mm. sauce because it's not too hot. They have good hot sauces in Asia, but in Asia they just blow your mouth apart. Right. Brazil is just a mixture of flavor and heat. Mm. Mm. Pieces of tomatoes they put on top is actually salsa. Vinaigrette, they call it. It's like salsa. Salsa yeah. vinaigrette, yeah. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. 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 Why don't we use this bun in Canada? The French bun is so much better than the hot dog bun. Oh my gosh, that was good. I think I have one more though. Really? I'm so hungry. <laughs> I made a mess. I'm sorry. Disculpa. My friend. Sorry. Disculpa. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I think everybody does that. He's like, it's okay, it's okay. There's more toppings on the ground than I got in my mouth. No, no, no. But I can have one more, because it's not enough. It's good, but I need more. You eat so far. I still have health. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, that food just energized me. I feel like I'm fighting machine. Here, here. Oh my gosh. Can I have it? Oh, the best. Oh, look at it. Mm -hmm. Looks really nice, no? Mm-hmm. Look at the cross section here. Mm. Don't see much of the toppings there, but I promise you it is mm. a, it is a mouth experience. Mm. You're right about balanced from, from crunchy, the kind of soggy and creamy with the mm -hmm. mashed potato. It's a good balance. I love it. It's absolutely five star. I will say, uh, the corn, I would go next time. I would say everything, no corn. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Mm. Very good. Bong prakakora. Bong bakalamba, bong prakakora. Mmm. 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 Because I'm kind of ashamed. It took us three months to, have to try this. <laughs> we should try this on the first day. Yeah. It took us still so long. Mm. Well, we tried a lot of things in Sao Paulo. Brazilian pizza, which is mm. another good one. Mm. <laughs> okay, final answer. This or Brazilian pizza? Impossible to choose. Too different. They're very different. Mm. Mm. What the heck? You eat so fast. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> this is my kind of food. This is one of my favorites. Seriously. Mm. I finished all. Mm. Finish one and a half. This is six star food. Really? This is so good right now. Wow. Plus, I'm so hungry. Yeah, it's just so more satisfying. Mm. <laughs> I think this place is actually pretty famous. It got like awards and stuff. Pe Pe Pedrin Pedrinho. 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 <laughs> Satisfied, Steve? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. One and a half is the perfect amount. I could easily have one and a half more, <laughs> but it would be gluttony. Mm. Mm. Oh. All right. So I feel terrible. Is that it? Oh, hiccups. Hold on. Eat too fast. Somebody get a Steve, 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 how to eat. I actually have the worst table manners out of everybody. Yeah. There's food everywhere. Oh my gosh. My point is this. I feel terrible. This is our last vlog in Sao Paulo. Last vlog in Brazil, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the end of a chapter here on Jelly Warriors. Yes. I really loved Brazil. 
we're off now to Peru, staying in South America. We might come back to Brazil after. We might not yeah. come back after because... We but might, we'll come we might, back one day. We don't know when. We'll certainly be back. But we might want to come back for World Cup. Yeah. Is one of our ideas. Also, we have to buy another drone, which will be our third purchase. And we have to get out of South America to buy the drone. <laughs> because... Double brought, the price. Yeah. Here. So we might go and come back to Brazil later, but we really love our time in Brazil. Uh, favorite food in Brazil? Ooh, this is hard. I'll go first. Farofa. I know it sounds like it's a silly answer, but white rice with black beans and farofa on top is Your a, is a it's, we ate that every day. Every we ate that every day. You know, that's the nasi that's lemak. Like, that's, the, that's the every yes. meal. Whether it's lunch or dinner, weekday, weekend, anytime. You always eat that. Uh, that's true. So that's what my memory of Brazil is. I never had a farofa before. I like, and I love farofa. I like everything. I like actually like Brazilian pizza. It's very good. Pizza was amazing, mm -hmm. like so good. So good. Um, this is obviously more recent in my brain, yeah. but the hot dog was so good. Honestly, my, Ooh, that was my favorite meal is not really, there is no name, but any meal that I get from the Kilo restaurants. Yeah, Kilos are really good. Kilo restaurants. I would also They're say good. breaded meat, beef of mm, parmesana and beef of milanesa. I had beef of parmesana a lot. Yeah, how about feijoada? Actually, best meal is beef of parmesana, beef of parmesana, I should say, with white rice, black beans, farofa, oh. and french fries. Ooh, that's I also a good like Brazilian feijoada. Meal. That's a good Brazilian meal. Feijoada, the complete one though, the complete one, I like. Oh, she's just trying to rub it in my face that she's more authentically Brazilian. <laughs> I also like uh, cozinha. Co co she thinks she's more Brazilian, she can't even say cozinha. That's kitchen. No, 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 no. Cozinha. I forgot which one's which. <laughs> one is kitchen and one is a really nice snack. It's actually really good. It's like a mm. shredded chicken and uh, mm -hmm. yo, I got hiccups and I got indigestion. I ate way too fast. Oh, oh my gosh, yes, that was so did. good. <laughs> you ate too fast. Did you even chew? Yo, your that food? was so good. This sauce, I'm telling you, right, guys, go home and buy some of this. It's like a barbecue sauce with spicy pimenta in it. I wonder if we can Molio take one and buy it and bring it to. Yo, we should bring it to Peru and open a restaurant and become world famous. <laughs> Oof. Okay, thanks for watching our video, everybody. Shout out to Art. Couldn't make it, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Shout out to all the Brazilian people along the way who... Pardon me. Oh, he can't even speak. <laughs> we came into Brazil, very nervous. And we left very excited and yeah. very happy and very pleasantly surprised. Sao Paulo, Hopefully right? our videos were did a nice job of promoting Brazil because we had a good time and we met tons of people. Yeah. And all I would right. say Brazil is more than just Rio de Janeiro. Brazil is lots of good food and super friendly people. Super warm <laughs> people in Brazil. True, true. They really love the camera too, and they, they, it's really great. Anyway, I'm... <laughs> What's wrong with you, Steve? I got hiccups. I'm trying to not hiccup on the camera. <laughs> it burps, you know? You're, you eat too fast, and you're talking too fast and as yo, well. And the Aquacon gas is not helping because it's got bubbles in it, and it's really com complicating matters. All right. All right Thanks for watching guys. our video, everybody. We will see you. Uh, next video will be from Lima. Ooh, bon pracrama. Fun fact, in Indonesian, Lima means five. That's true. And we are going there on March 5th. Lima. Okay. All right, Lima on the 5th. See you guys. Love you guys.